bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. So I'm taking a little cool down break here in Gainesville, Florida. And uh, every every stop, I've got my little Windex wipes that uh, I keep my helmet clear and my windshield clear so I just like to keep it the bugs off so I have a nice view not obstructed so but while I'm doing this I'm getting a little water and just kind of taking it easy here and uh, so I thought I would uh, just kind of reflect on uh, day one uh, this is day two uh, July 22nd uh, 2019 and um, you know, day two of what hopefully will be a long and successful journey to Prudhoe Bay, Alaska, to the Arctic Ocean, in fact. So, um, started in Key West yesterday at the southernmost point in the continental U.S., which is about 90 miles from Cuba and about 150 miles uh, south, southwest of uh, Miami. You know, you think about southern Florida being it but there's just a tremendous road that connects all the keys what an amazing engineering marvel that they put those keys together some decades ago and um, have connected all those those little islands it's a beautiful place never had been there before and was just taken back by the just the beauty the emerald green water it was just crystal clear in so many places and uh, i wanted to talk a little bit about you know I guess the prep and how this trip came to be um, you know I've always liked taking adventures and thinking about long journeys um, to kind of illustrate you know I guess our life experiences and so you know having something that's challenging uh, something that I wasn't sure if I could do it number one even just actually get here and launch day one I wasn't always sure that I would even be here so uh, it's incredible that that's occurred so that's a huge win um, you know and just thinking about you know all the unknowns you know and the distance and so you know the last few days uh, certainly have been uh, nervous a little bit about you know is this the right thing to do you know um, have I prepared enough? Am I fit enough? Do I have the right machine? Uh, do I have the right tools? Do I have the right gear to keep me warm, to keep me dry, to keep me cool? You know, of all these different climates that I'll be going through. So uh, a lot of that's been on my mind. And uh, so yesterday was a great icebreaker. Uh, I didn't spend as much time, I think, capturing a little bit of Key West, some of Key West that I would have loved to, but that's okay. It, it, it's more about the journey than is how well I'm documenting so hopefully this will this will give you an illustration of just what I was thinking as, as the time led up to this so uh, I felt great about the prep uh, was ready many days before this trip uh, I took lots of training rides on this machine which I love uh, it's just such a phenomenal motorcycle uh, so so smooth powerful capable agile uh, even on the street, it's quite agile, so it's just a, it's just a, it's awesome to ride. So all those things are great, you know, and uh, it's, a, you know, it's a place uh, in my life now where this is, this trip is very doable, uh, from a fitness level to you know having the time and the resources to do it. So uh, that's all exciting, but it's still a long journey. Uh, certainly not uh, extreme by adventures to go. But it is, it is something that not a lot of people have done. And not a lot of people have done it by car and not a lot of people have done it by motorcycle or even solo motorcycle uh, and even on a motorcycle like this. So uh, those are all cool things that uh, you know I'm kind of cherishing as I uh, keep going along here. And you know, I'm realistic, you know, I'm gonna give it my best effort. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try to be as resilient as I can and tough-minded, um, you know, because right now the heat is, is, is no fun. But, uh, you know, I don't mire myself down in that thought. You know, I just keep pushing myself and stay hydrated, uh, stop, you know, take a break, you know, don't, don't have some kind of artificial, uh, you know, 
parameters on how I need to perform. Just, just keep the end goal in mind, and that's you know get to the Arctic Ocean, get there safely, and get there within the time frame and the resources that I have. So, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about that, and uh, I really couldn't, I really couldn't think that day two could be any better. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm basically running up Interstate 75. Uh, for 400 miles. Uh, it's crowded, it's fast, it's hot, uh, and it's not particularly scenic uh, because I got to be paying attention to the traffic. But uh, you know, it's part of the adventure and things are going to unfold and change as we go along here. So um, I'm just super excited to be on this and very, very blessed and fortunate. So, um, you know, my, my message, I guess, is this is that. You know, you can do almost anything you want, you know, um, and if you can't actually do it, uh, you know, you could, you could get close to it. So, you know, so to me, that example is I'm not going to trek to the, to the North Pole, although I love the stories of the first explorers that did that. Uh, I'm not going to climb Mount Everest. I'm not going to climb Mount Everest without oxygen, but I love the stories of those who did it. So, so to me, this is, I guess this is how I touch those stories in my life. Because for me, this is, this is hard. This is not easy um, for, for a variety of things. So, you know, my message is that, you know, those things that, that speak to you, those, those journeys, those adventures, those projects, those goals that are risky, uh, or at least that you've told yourself that are risky, you know? Because a lot of times we, we tell ourselves a story that just simply isn't true. But if those things speak to you and you wanna, and you really wanna pursue them, you know, it's just a matter of just taking the time to set your goals and then pursue them at the expense of other pleasures, expense of other things, especially people taking your time. You know, you, you know, the world we live in today, the interruptions, in fact, this device that I'm recording this on is, uh, is a terrible intrusion in our life in some ways, but a fantastic tool to do what I'm doing here, which is a great video uh, uh, documentary of my experiences. And hopefully they'll stand the test of time and, and uh, this message is coming out to my gra grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Uh, but take risk. And don't let other people dissuade you from that because they will because they don't understand what's in your head and they're not walking your path so don't listen to that crap so it's doable and uh, I'm here to prove it I'm in my 50s uh, I was terribly overweight terribly bad health uh, and I'm fit and uh, I've got the resources and time to do this incredible adventure and uh, so like a bird it's on just a tree. an amazing thing in my life and it brings me great joy. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be in the great outdoor, forever free. You can 